So doesn't the Bible tell us that the coming of the Messiah, the Christ, will be called Immanuel? Isaiah 7, there it is. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. You shall call his name Immanuel. Immanuel is the name given to Jesus, prophesied the coming of the Messiah. You shall call his name Immanuel. So Immanuel, it's a conjunction of 5973 and Hebrew word 410. The first word 5973, which is the Immanu part, it says it means with us is. So now I'll go back. And then the second part of the word is Hebrew word 410. And it is El, the Almighty God. The name of the Almighty God is El. We also know that the Bible says in Hosea that we will become sons of the living God. The living God, the God of life, which is El, again, the Almighty God. So let me ask you a question. Why does Genesis 126 say, So Elohim created man in his own image. Elohim, gods of the supreme God. So Elohim created to cut down as a formative process. So Elohim created man in his own image. Okay, so here's the creation of man in the image of Elohim. It means to shade, a phantom, figuratively an illusion. Resemblance hints a representative figure, especially an idol, a vain show. So Elohim is creating a system that is separate from El, the Almighty God. That's why El, the Almighty God, has to come into the system to repurchase those that were led astray. We know this is a fact because Satan told Jesus, who is Emmanuel, with us as El, if you will bow down and worship me, I'll give you all these. This is mine to give. All authority has been given to me in this kingdom. So whose kingdom is the flesh? Who owns the flesh? Well, Satan said it was all his to give. If you bow down and worship me, I can give it all to you. We also know that the formation of the flesh is in Genesis 1 when Elohim said, let us create man in our image. So in the image of Elohim created he him, male and female created he them. Let me go to Isaiah again. Ready? How art thou fallen from heaven, the Lucifer son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did us weaken the nations? Back to Genesis 1. So Elohim created man in his own image, bara, to create, to cut down as a formative process. Okay, so what was his work? Elohim created man in his own image, in the image of Elohim, created he him, male and female created he them. Why do you think there's male and female reproductive systems? in the mouth of a serpent. Let me ask you another question. Why do you think a bunch of people are standing inside of a serpent that's wearing a crown building, singing to Lucifer, dawning his own creation, which is the flesh, male and female reproductive systems? Flama seus, 
What does it say in Ezekiel? Thou sittest in the seat of Elohim. Son of man, say to the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord God. So the Lord God is the self-existent eternal Jehovah. Thus saith the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted up. And thou hast said, I am El, the Almighty God. I sit in the seat, the population, the assembly, the dwelling place. I sit in the seat of Elohim in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man and not El, although you set your heart as the heart of Elohim. What does it say in Isaiah? I will exalt my throne. The word throne meaning flesh above the angels of God, the stars or the angels. So Lucifer said, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne. Let's look at the word throne. To plump fill Apollos, to cover for clothing or secrecy, to conceal self. Let's look at the root of that word to be covered with flesh. I will exalt my throne, my flesh, the place where I'm hiding, above the stars, the princes of God. El, see El, the Almighty God. There's no doubt that the one that Lucifer is out to arise above is El. You know, the Bible says in Romans 8, the flesh is enmity against God. Do you know what the word enmity means? Hatred. You know what the root of that word is? Satan. The flesh is Satan. Now you know why Lucifer's sitting in the seat of Elohim. Because now we have to be bought back. Because it says again in Ezekiel, Though thou hast set thine heart as the heart of Elohim, and we have to give our hearts back to Jesus, or we go into eternal damnation. 